Alright guys, how's it going? So I'm just having my morning coffee, I'm checking back in comments, I'm kind of doing a little bit of tidying up to be honest. And there's a comment here from Maga Man, I assume he's a Trump supporter, don't know where I get that from. <laughs> Blender is still seriously lacking for a programme as old as it is. The fact that you can't have a simple quad view and maximise and the single views from a quad view is pathetic. And I thought, oh surely you can, obviously, you must be able to. And then I went and checked it out, I pressed Control Alt and Q to jump into COD view, and I thought maybe you press Control and Spacebar, nope, doesn't work. Maybe it's old school, Control and Up Arrow, nope, doesn't work. And I thought, hmm, that's kind of strange, because most 3D applications let you do that. So, you technically can't do that, but what we can do is we can actually cheat, and we can set up a whole new quad view, which would actually give us the ability to expand the view, uh, pretty much what the user's looking for. So if we actually click in a new workspace, I'll go to general, we'll make it a layout so it looks kind of similar. We'll double click here, we'll call this quad view. Now I'm not arguing this is the best solution, far from it, but it is a solution. And what we can do is we can actually split the view here. We'll move the timeline up, we'll change this one to 3D view, and we'll split it again. And we end up pretty much with a quad view. So we'll keep this one user's perspective, I believe this one is the right view, so we'll press 3 on the numpad, I believe this one is the actual front view, press 1 on the numpad, and I believe this is the top view, so we'll press number 7, and this essentially gives us the quad view. Now what we can do here is, we can right click, hide the header, we can even take away the menus if we really want, we can do it here as well, and we end up with something like this now, if we want to kind of hide these. Now these are all locked into position, in fact if we press Ctrl Alt and Q here, we can pretty much replicate it again. So we pretty much have quad view, so what we can do is we can press Ctrl and Space, and we can quickly jump in and out, and you can actually lock the view to stop it from turning. And Again, I'm not arguing this is the best solution, it probably should be native and you probably should be able to just jump in and out, but yeah, there is a solution for it. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do, take care.